Monday morning. And it's a good one, isn't it? Look at it. Good Monday morning. We're headed to the truck. Uh, remember we have to drop off that roller trailer in Winnipeg first thing this morning? And after that, we come back, grab a roll tight, and head to Toulon. Got some freight there to pick up. I had a great weekend. Great weekend. Well, we worked on Saturday. I was on my way back from Minnesota then, remember? And uh, Sunday, my mom and dad were able to come down and visit. So it was a good weekend. I'm ready to go, uh, ready to go back to work for a week. I had to think about that for a while. Do I really want to say I'm ready to go back to work? Yes. Yes, I'm ready to go back to work. I love my job. I love what I do. I love the people that are around me there. It's a good place. Yeah, I'm actually excited to go back to work on a Monday. I said that out loud, and I mean it. It's going to be a good day. So I'm back in the Volvo. <laughs> my Peterbilt was feeling a little under the weather this morning. Uh, the air compressor wasn't building air. It was running and it was pumping into the air tank, but somehow it was getting out somewhere, but I couldn't find the air leak. So the shop's gonna have to look at it. It's, it's losing air, it's not building any air pressure. So I still had the keys to 3056 here because I used it Friday, Saturday, right? And I had to get this roller trailer here to Winnipeg first thing in the morning and no one was in the office yet. So I quickly jumped in 3056, got it warmed up, hooked onto the trailer and I brought it in here to town. By the time I get back to the yard, the office staff will all be in there and I'll let them know like, hey, my truck's gonna be in the shop. You want me to just stay in this truck or nobody's assigned to this truck yet, but I think they have someone earmarked for it for the end of December. So it shouldn't be a problem. But uh, by the time I get there, they'll tell me if they want me to stay in this truck or if I use a different one while my truck's getting fixed. I have no idea what's going on with mine. Like I said, air compressor is running and it's definitely pumping air into the air tank, but it's losing it somewhere and I can't figure out where. So that's a job for the shop. Anyways, got the job done this morning. I had to bring this back here. So at least I was able to get that done. I'm just about to drop it here and uh be back headed back to the yard it was fun friday and saturday with this thing it was a fun trip down to minnesota now it's going to be reloaded and uh we'll see what else is in store i have to go to toulon today too so i'll probably stay in this truck for today and then uh see what happens with mine maybe my truck just has a frozen valve and they just got to tow it into our shop and let it thaw out and Maybe that's all it needs. Like I said, that's a job for the mechanics at the shop. I'm a driver. I have quite a bit of knowledge of how to fix small things on trucks. I can fix all the small things, but I can't figure out where that air leak is. And I'm guessing it's probably, it's probably just a frozen valve and it probably just needs to be warmed up. It'll probably be ready by the end of, uh, by the end of today, probably. I said probably quite a bit there. Probably. So I did end up staying in 3056 for today. And they're gonna try to get that air compressor fixed on my truck, 3006, as quickly as they can. Uh, we'll see, they're pretty busy in the shop. But we'll see how long it takes. On our way up to Toulon, I have a roll tight flatbed behind me. I believe I'm picking up four pieces again. I'm not too sure where they're going yet. Probably down south. That's where most of my freight goes that I pick up. Almost all of our freight. Well, a good overwhelming majority of our freight goes down to the U.S. That's why in order to drive a truck here, you have to have the ability to cross into the United States. You have to. That is a requirement of the job here. Because we just don't have enough Canada only freight and most of our major routes go down south you know we got a lot going down to Georgia a lot going down to the southwest now actually we got a lot going everywhere when I first started here we were mostly in the southeast of the US but uh, now now we got freight going everywhere I pick up freight from these guys here where I'm going going down to California Arizona Utah New Mexico all the time We've got a good variety of routes. And we're busy, 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 always looking for new drivers. 
This is one of our older highway units. It's just like the Volvo I used to drive. Uh, we have, oh, we have a, a little bit of everything, pretty much. We got a bunch of Volvos, got a bunch of Peterbilts, a bunch of Canworths, a bunch of Western Stars. We got a variety of trucks. I'm pretty sure they're sort of, they don't want to put all their eggs in one basket, right? We got here, we got to open up the curtains, load up. These steps are higher than mine on my Peterbilt. <laughs> ah, nice. Oh, oh, keep going, come on, come on. Keep coming with me. Ah, it's rolling nicely, good. Beautiful, beautiful, that rolled really smooth. That means the bull snot that I put in here, which is a, it's a, a lube, it's bull snot lubricant. Bull snot's the brand name if you're, if you're new here. Uh, I greased this up probably about a month ago and still gliding smooth like butter. Good, good. Let me put my uh, high-tech brake system on here so that we don't... Oops. Oh. Oh, come on. Is that going to stay? Perfect. It's not going anywhere. So this Volvo can turn way sharper than the Peterbilt. <laughs> it's actually much more of a handy city truck. But this one apparently has a driver coming end of December. Like I was telling you earlier, is earmarked for someone. It is a handy truck to have. All locked in, loaded up. They're always pretty quick here. Make sure that's all on there. There you go. Gotta go tighten it up at the back so that this isn't all floppy. You don't want that to be all flapping in the wind and loose. Set this little screw thing here. See this little piece here? Just a bit, see, it goes behind that. And as you screw this in, it's gonna push the trailer back this way and pull it tight. I guess it's gonna pull it, not pull it. Push it. It's all done with this. That's how we tighten it up. Tighten it until that wheel reaches that pin. That wheel is touching that pin now, and this side is completely tight, ready for the road. Now we do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna watch it pull it back from here. again sir this side is all nice and tight as well this thing just goes in there we put the flap back down on the back button it up and we're ready to go locked and loaded all tight let's climb up here real quick and uh Figure out where this freight's going. If you're wondering where our routes take us to. So this here, four pieces. Uh 
why they're going to different places. These front two are going to Tennessee, Tennessee, and the last two are also both going to Tennessee. Four different drops in Tennessee. So watch out. We got ourselves a trailer going down south. I wish it was me, but maybe one day one of our other drivers will take it down. You know, if you do come and uh, drive for us, it could be you going down to Tennessee. You consider yourself a paid tourist. Well, I got this truck parked. We're gonna go jump back in the Peterbilt. Whatever it was, it must have thawed out or the shop already had it in and fixed it. But uh, I came to check on it as soon as I got back from this Toulon trip and it was working again. Air pump was pumping up pressure just like it should. Air tanks were holding it. Blow off valve was working just fine. It works, so I'm jumping back in that truck. Saying goodbye to the Volvo, going back to the Peterbilt. It was nice. We were friends for Friday, Saturday, and half of Monday. So when we park trucks here in wintertime, we always plug them in. That plugs the block heater and keeps it warm enough so it'll turn over. Otherwise, you're not going to get it started on a cold day. Last but not least, we lock everything up and make sure the lights are turned off. I cleaned off the lights when I fueled up on the way back as well. Didn't do the windshield. I know, should have done the windshield. Now we're gonna take the pickup. I'm just gonna go park it in my regular spot over there by 3006. And we'll continue our day, Peterbilt style. Monday Petermobilin, here we come. All right, Peter. You better not disappoint me. All right. I've missed these pipes. Let's hear them sing. Doesn't that sound so much better than that Volvo? <laughs> space in here but I do like this truck it's very maneuverable got pretty good visibility I mean after being in a Volvo I, I don't know if I can call this good visibility but <laughs> the Volvo does have very good like huge windows they take forever to clean this is like wipe 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 clean the whole thing and I can clean my passenger window sitting in this seat when I'm stopped that's amazing so I've got a flatbed behind me I had to shovel a bunch of snow and ice off of it because it hasn't been used in a while. I gotta bring this into a into a customer in uh, southwest Winnipeg. Well, sort of southern, south central Winnipeg. And they have a loaded one waiting there for me. How convenient. Drop this one there, I'll pick up the loaded one, I'll tie it down, bring it home. Exciting day, eh? <laughs> I know it's not the same as bringing a wide load down to Minnesota, but... I'll admit though, not every day is, ex is as exciting as the last. When you do a daily vlog, I mean, it's impossible. Nobody lives that exciting of a life that they're gonna have an awesome, exciting, genuine vlog every day. Okay, and the people that do, fake, fake.
mistake. Nobody has that much fun and is that exciting naturally every single day. So I'm just showing you real life. I decided that a long time ago. I didn't really want to put any acting into it. I just wanted to show you the actual life that I live. I think it's fun. I love driving trucks and apparently a lot of you like it too. So here we are hanging out. I had to be very careful tying this load down. I'll show you why. This is all fine up here. This is all fine. It's these back here. These fins, you can bend them if you put the strap over here. Look, if you put the strap right over there and down here, you'll actually bend this and you'll damage it. It costs a lot of money. Now they put these wood boards on here through here and that's where you have to put your straps over that evens and distributes the weight of the strap evenly and it won't damage the freight see that and each one of these is like that these are a little bigger here it takes a little bit of extra time but you got to make sure you put your straps on the wood and trucking isn't just about getting the freight from point A to point B safely. It's about getting it there and not damaging it in the process. Sometimes it can be a little tricky. This isn't too tricky, but this is why those are there. If you ever see something like this, be very careful. Do not bend these. People will get very upset. And a lot of fingers will be pointed at you that you don't want pointed at you. That's not the kind of attention you want. I mean, even as a YouTuber, I like attention. Not that kind of attention. Eh, that's not the thing I wake up in the morning and hope to happen to me. Yeah, let's take this back to the yard. And a highway driver is going to take it to where it needs to be. And this needs to be in, where is it going? Edmonton, Alberta. Edmonton, I got some stuff for you. I'll send it out straight away. I'm gonna bring it back to another guy. He's gonna bring it over there, or maybe she. And one of our drivers will bring it there for you. So we picked up freight for Tennessee today, and we picked up freight for Edmonton, Alberta. Two totally different directions from here. Now we're gonna go back and uh, park it in a nice spot, make sure that the landing gear is on the cement pad. Because some people forget that. <laughs> it's one of my pet peeves. Drop your trailers on the cement pads. And uh, yeah, then the highway driver can leave with it. When does it say it needs to be there? Doesn't have a delivery date. ASAP, I'm sure. It's on the way. This is gonna be a little interesting getting out of this street during rush hour. What is it, quarter after four right now? Oh joy! Oh joy. We're pretty far into the city. I mean, downtown's right over there. I don't know if you can see them. Uh, a little ways off yet, but it is a busy part of the city, and this highway here is going to, uh, it's gonna be interesting to get onto, because I have to turn from the left lane here. So if anybody's turning this way, they're gonna be shocked to see me in their lane. This is Pembina Highway. We're gonna turn south. Got to take it wide from the left lane here. It confuses people sometimes if they want to turn down here. And this building is right in the way, so I can't see. And my nose is so long that I can't poke it out too far, but just far enough that we can see what's coming. There we go. I still wouldn't trade the nose in. I like it. I don't even have the longest nose, Pete. I have a 379. It's not a, it, it sort of looks long because of the fisheye lens here, but it's not the longest you can get yet. Still looks nice. Classic Peterbilt hood with the rivets. It's nice. Eventually they're gonna have to get a red light. Aha, nope, nope, did they get red? Nope, aha, now it turned yellow. You see it over there? Probably not. Oh, see, this person wants to turn left here. That confuses them. He was swearing at me. Oh, I thought they had a red light. 
and then you gotta cut into traffic before the gap closes. Okay, here's the gap, right after this minivan. Hopefully no one comes up beside me on my right there. Okay, here we go. Need the whole road. There you go. Wonderful. There you go, you see? Wasn't that hard. Just had to be patient. And get swore at once. Not so bad, it was only once. Not bad. As a truck driver, you get used to being swore at. People really don't like us. We're big, we're in the way, we're slow. I can't see around us. They have no idea what we're doing because they don't understand how we operate and that we need wide corners. And they blame us for all of their bad decisions on the road. Ah, it's just part of being a truck driver. It's kind of fun. How many times can I get the finger today? How many times will I get swore at today? I'm just kidding. I don't actually play that game. I try, to, I try my best to stay out of people's way and try not to upset them. But sometimes there's just no other way. I'm sorry, I'm a big... I'm a big dude. I got a big long trailer behind me. What do you want me to do? I'm doing the best I can to stay out of your way, good sir. You know? But they're gonna get mad anyway. So the key is when you're a truck driver, people are getting mad at you, swearing at you, honking at you, you know, giving you the bird and everything like that. Don't bite, okay? They're tempting you to, to lash out at them. Don't lash back, okay? Never a good idea. We are professional drivers. That means we can take all the abuse, all the verbal abuse and everything else and take it with a smile and just keep doing our job. You don't get back in their face. Just smile, nod, or just ignore them all together. That's what I do. Makes them even more mad. <laughs> just ignore them all together and do your best to stay out of their way. You know what, you know what I mean. Where are the dogs? Here they are. Hey Chevy, hey Chevy. Hey Chevy, Chevy, down, down Chevy. You can't jump up like that. No, nobody likes that. Nobody likes that, no. Stay down. You taught them how to do it. I taught them how to hire you. Now I get to go outside, I gotta poop. Yeah, not even a hello to me. You wanna go straight outside? Where's Wiener? Hiya. I'll hire you again. Is that where you're learning that from? Is he teaching you how to hire you? You were about to do it again. I'm a karate master. Me too. Gita, who got home in time to be on the vlog? Oh, are you bringing me your puppy? Thank you so much. He's my beloved puppy. He's my son. What are you doing with him? Hey! 
He's mine. Chevy. I want to be a part of whatever Diesel's a part of. What are we doing, Diesel? Made it home a little bit earlier today so she could be a part of the ending of the vlog. That's exactly why I came home early from work. Yeah? Had nothing to do with the mall being slow. Nothing. <laughs> she doesn't get to be in the vlog a lot during the week because we work off as a shift mostly, but mostly. today's a special day. We can watch some TV, yeah. some Yellowstone, mm. or some or Christmas. Or Christmas stuff. Christmas. The, the options are endless. <laughs> Frank! Hey, look at how excited he is, his leg's shaking. I'm doing the shake for you, mama. Oh. I'm doing the shake shake. I'm doing the shake shake for mama? I'm somewhat of a dancer. Is it true? Hmm. You're a beautiful dancer, but you taught ballroom in your younger years.